I just watched The Nun, so now let's talk about every single movie in the Conjuring series. James Wan revitalized the whole horror genre with this movie by being a real master of his craft. He just knows how to make a good horror movie. The atmosphere is always gloomy, the tension always high, the scares always unexpected, yet everything is still grounded in a sense of realism. Even the non-horror stuff in this movie are good. Like all of the little character moments that are interspliced to add a lot of emotion, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are an incredibly convincing and beautiful married couple. This is a near perfect modern horror movie. The Conjuring 2 While the movie can sometimes go overboard and feel unrealistic, in terms of scariness, it is on par with the original. James Wan is still a master, but the real star here is the romance between the Warrens. It was so unbelievably sweet in this movie. Their love is so deep and so pure that it just made us all as the audience fall in love with them. I mean, this movie is truly one of the best rom-coms out there. The Conjuring Tree The new elements of investigation and court cases help keep this long-running series fresh. But the director of this movie, Michael Chavez, he just tries way too hard to be James Wan. So everything just ends up being like a pill imitation. Second-rate James Wan is still pretty good though uh, for a horror movie. Annabelle There are a few genuinely scary moments for this PG-13 movie. But most of the scares here disappointingly choose to rely on loud sound effects. I like how wholesome the couple of this movie is, but I have to admit they don't have much character. And this whole movie basically does not have much personality or character, and it's just really dull. Annabelle Creation This is the most fun movie in the whole Conjuring franchise. David F. Sandberg knows he's not James Wan, so he doesn't make a movie that feels gloomy and scary like the original Conjuring. Instead, he makes a movie that is fun, over the top, and just more concerned with looking awesome than being serious like the mainline Conjuring films. This approach mostly works, and what surprised me even more than this is how much heart this movie actually has, especially when it comes to the relationship of the orphans. The Curse of La Llorona A pretty generic and forgettable movie overall, although the lore is pretty interesting, Michael Chavez knows how to create some pretty badass visuals, and Linda Cardellini is really good in this movie, although she's better in something else like that to me. And there is the most badass or I guess the second most badass priest in cinema history. The first is this guy. I kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> the nun. Taisa Famiga is just so cute. There are a few cool moments, but the scares are pathetic. The story is a bunch of nonsense. The romance is cringeworthy. The worst offender here is actually the lighting because the lighting in this movie is so dim that sometimes you just can't tell what is happening with that said Taisa Farmiga is like really 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 cute the nun too wait is that Taisa Farmiga but seriously if you want to see Taisa Farmiga in a good movie watch Final Girls because most of this movie is boring and it makes the same mistakes as the first but Michael Chavez does bring more interesting visuals than the director from the first movie and the last 30 minutes of this movie is just so crazy that it made me laugh so hard i almost fell out of my seat so those are all of the films in the conjuring series my favorites are okay fine fine i'll talk about annabelle comes home annabelle comes home this whole movie is just one long advertisement that you have to pay for the story is a pathetic excuse for the franchise to set up more sequels in the future. This whole movie is just a business executive decision. And that is worse than any other flaw that a movie could have. It's just this movie just feels so soulless. All of the different evil spirits in this movie, they don't really have any character or any special thing about them because all of them just appear once or twice because that's all they have to do. They just need to set up for a future movie starring one of these evil spirits. 
The characters are super annoying and horny teenagers, the kind you expect from a slasher movie. But then a slasher movie is good because you see these characters die. In this movie, nobody gets injured or nobody dies because uh, apparently Annabelle is so weak that Annabelle can't even handle two teenagers and one kid. And, and the actual experience of watching this movie is just one bad jump scare after another bad jump scare. None of the jump scares actually work. And the ones that do work only work because the sound effects are loud. That's it. There's no suspense, no atmosphere. There is no skill on display here. Gary Doberman, the director of this movie, he wrote the previous Annabelle movies. And my advice is some writers should maybe just stay as writers. Because everything about this movie pisses me off. Even the end credits song of this movie is like, what? Why is this the end credits song? Excuse me? So those are all of the Conjuring films. Which ones are my favorite? I think The Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, and Annabelle Creation. Uh, some of them are okay, but most of the spin-offs are pretty bad. I think that this is a really important series for the horror genre, especially mainstream horror. A series like this has to happen to revive interest for this genre, especially the time when the first movie released. Nobody cared about horror at the time. So it's cool that we have this series now, but they really have to be a lot more careful with how they handle their spin-offs, like the Annabelle series or the Nun series, because some of the quality of these spin-offs are really questionable.